Hello guys, in this video we will be studying how we can plot a unit step function graph in MATLAB. So guys, what is a unit step function? Unit step function is a type of function in which it is defined only for positive x axis. Which means here there will be no negative values for a unit step function. It will start from zero and keeps on attaining a value of high, which can be anything. It can be take any value at any positive x axis. It will take the value of high one. So this type of graph is represented as a unit step function. It can be high or it can be have discrete like this and it can have like this and if you have take 25 here it can now place that unit step function. So after this tutorial you will be able to visualize this unit step function in a MATLAB. So let's get started. So I will take a consideration of example graph. So this is an example unit step function I have considered for this video. Let me to visualize this in a MATLAB. So first the coding starts like this. You see clear all, close all. So after doing all this initialization we will come into the main point where we need to take a time interval from I will take it as 0 to 1 to 5. So why because the negative values of is not defined that's why I will take t from 0 to 1 to up to 5. So we will ask an input from the user say n. You need to type this value as 1, 2, 3, 4. Anything you need a natural number more than 0. After this we will take this value as reference and make those points as high or 1. So let me take an input from the MATLAB window input we need we have got the n is equal to input so after this n value will be taken the input whatever the user types here and this will be compared with time so time how we will define is we will take this up to n minus 1 so if you had user have given 5 it will take from 0 to 4 time interval so because it's 5 is less than 1 because 0 is included that's why we will take n minus 1. So after this time will be initialized according to our time matrix t matrix will be initialized based on the value of the n. So append the value of 1 to all of the n value. How we can achieve this exactly by taking a y which is an amplitude and making it is ones of we are making those values of ones as 1 comma after 1 why because the unit step function starts from 1 there will be no negative value defined that's why the starting is 1 from 1 up to it need to go up to n we will be plotting this stem of t comma y after plotting this one we will exactly do x label and y label and we will be giving a title. So x label will be time and y label will be amplitude and the definitely title is unit step function. So this is. So let me show in the code in the computer. 